uh, everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. And yes, here's the legendary and iconic SKX 007. This is the K uh, version, the international version. And uh, I bought this brand new just uh, a few months ago. I bought it on a uh, website called chronograph.com based in Singapore. Mr. Lee is the, the owner. They had uh, really good reviews. Uh, but uh, yeah, they had like the uh, one of the, the lowest priced SKX 007 uh, in brand new condition, which I could find. And it cost me $365. And uh, I've seen most of the new ones at least for like $500 at least on Chrono 24 and on Creation Watches. They're even like 800, the, the JDM ones. And uh, so I've had this for a few months already. And uh, now I understand why it has an iconic status. I really love uh, this watch. Even though for that price I could have gotten better spec watches. And I looked at some, uh, like the new Turtles or um, there's the Mini Turtle and a few others. Uh, I just had to, to get this watch and I know uh, it could be bought for less in pre-owned condition sort of like 200 or 250 I think it could be found for uh, in pre-owned condition but uh, knowing myself and with my uh, experience I I mostly try to buy brand new watches right now unless it's a, a birth year vintage or something uh, because I really like to create those scratches in, in memories. So uh, uh, I bought this watch uh, and I've been really happy with it. And there's already a ton of reviews, but I just want to share mine. So this uh, K International version has uh, the word Divers 200 on, uh, on the dial. The JDM ones has a further uh, additional text, which is 21 joules and the Made in Japan on the uh, the bottom uh, of the dial um, it uh, has the 7s26 movement uh, the serial number of mine is from 2018 so I think it's one of the, the last uh, few uh, month batches that uh, these were were made and uh, yeah so I sold actually my SSK GMT I thought that by buying the new uh, SSK003 GMTs, I, I would scratch that edge of the SKX, but uh, I, I, I always thought about this at the, the back of my head. Even though I really love though that GMT, I might buy it again. Um, I'm really happy uh, so far with this. It has a uh, hard lex and aluminum bezel. The, the dial is uh, not completely black, but like a, a, a gunmetal grayish very dark gray color and i can't wait for this to you know to patina with the years i've seen uh the bezel and the, the dial how it fades and uh, i really like how those um already this is already vintage because this was made in 1996 so those late 90s uh models are considered vintage i guess neo vintage now uh, the bracelet, uh, I had read that it was uh, comfortable, it has uh, hollow links and it, uh, it moves a lot, so it has this kind of, uh, that's actually a blessing because it makes it more flexible, a solid link bracelet won't uh, do this. So uh, I was kind of, I've been spoiled throughout the years with solid uh, link bracelets. So when I first tried this, the first couple days, I, I thought, man, this is a piece of, uh, you know what, it was so weird to have a, a hollow link bracelet. But now, it took a few days, but now I really love this bracelet. It's really comfortable and uh, maybe it won't last like a solid link bracelet. Uh, throughout the years, but uh, this should last a good decade or two of uh, it's very well made So this is an ISO certified diver. That means I went through very uh, rigorous test 
and uh, and one of them was the I've read it the bracelet the, the spring bars this uses 2.5 uh, millimeters the fat spring bars uh, so uh, under pressure it could handle a lot of force these um, by the way that was one thing the only well I'll talk about the pros and cons in, in a while but um, the uh, the spring bars they are not double flanged so it was hard to remove them um, luckily I, I had a few um, Uncle Seiko fat spring bars in uh, 22 millimeters and I, I just love those that Larry does from Uncle Seiko Uncle Straps now because they have double flange so uh, they're much easier to remove so that is a uh, one thing uh, I'd recommend to do I still have them the, the OEM ones I I always save them so I have them somewhere um, plus uh, this watch does not have drilled lugs so if it did have drilled lugs I'd keep the OEM uh, spring bars but um yeah so I've used this a lot on this uh, OEM Jubilee bracelet it's very it's very flashy which I I like it, uh, the way the uh, polished center links reflect is really nice and the brushed on the sides and I've used this on a uh, uh, Uncle Seiko this is an uh, Uncle Seiko waffle specifically made for uh, the SKX case This is the version uh, one of these, so it's kind of plastically, it's kind of hard. Yeah, there's another version which is a bit more soft, but uh, this watch was really nice on on this uh, Uncle Seiko uh, strap. So about alignment, I, I was expecting uh, this to be misaligned. Uh, when I bought it, uh, Mr. Lee was very kind enough. I asked him if uh, he could send me a, a photo uh, before shipping, you know, just to check alignment. And the ones he sent, he sent me first this one and uh, then another one. Um, so at 12 o'clock, it's, uh, it's pretty much aligned. However, at 6, if I look closely, yeah, it uh, is a little bit misaligned at, at 6. Uh, it's not a big deal, I think. Uh, I'm really happy uh, with how this came. Plus, there was a pleasant surprise. If you see on the dial, it's in uh, Arabic, uh, Arabic date wheel, which uh, I really like because I've never had uh, this uh, this date wheel. Uh, I thought that only the J versions would come with a, a foreign date wheel, but uh, this K version was a pleasant surprise that it was made for the Middle Eastern market. So I really like it, I keep it on, uh, even a, even though I don't understand anything of the date, but I like to keep it there. The only the only thing I know is that when it's a red color, it's a Friday. And uh, Saturday and Sunday is uh, just a regular uh, black color, as opposed, you guys know, the uh, English and Spanish version uh, have sometimes blue for Saturday and red color on Sundays. but. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, I really like that this watch has a lineage to it. It um, these come, you know, from the the turtles. The seven five four eight quartz divers look very much has the same slim case, and there's such a rich history to this watch that um, I, I was perfectly fine paying a premium. Uh, I know I could have bought it a couple of years ago for or 300 something um, but yesterday's yesterday can change time and uh, I mean I, I think I still got it reasonably for a good price uh, I don't think I would have paid more f uh, $400 or more for this but uh, yeah I really like that it's so iconic and there's no uh, prospect logo on, on the dial that uh, X it's just so pretty. I just stare at this watch um, a, a lot. And um, yeah, so it doesn't have a uh, signed crown. It is a screw down crown. Sometimes it's a bit hard to, 
to reach in. Bezel action is really nice. A little bit of back play, but I like how it. Uh, I like how it, uh, it moves the uh, unidirectional bezel. The loom is really, really nice. The loom and the finishing on the back uh, as well. Let me get a close up. The tsunami. And uh, I also like that it's very minimalist, you know, as I mentioned, there's no prospect logo. The, the dial is just uh, proportioned very, uh, very nicely. It's very legible at uh, any glance. And I really like that tone, uh, that orange reddish tone of the Divers 200. Uh, if you have a, a Sarp 017 Alpinist, uh, I've noticed that the this same color is used on the Alpinist on the uh, compass section, the north, it's the same shade of uh, orange. So I think both will fade with time to, uh, to the same color. Printed dial, there's uh, no uh, applied indices here, I believe. The finishing for the price, I love it. 46 millimeters lug to lug, 42 millimeters uh, diameter, and if I'm not mistaken, 13 millimeters thick, 22 millimeters lug width, so it'll fit uh, a nice size. This is how uh, it wears on my 6.5 inch wrist. Really comfortable. It has a pressed clasp, a thin clasp. No diver's extension on this one. Uh, what are the, the pros and cons for me of this watch? Well, um, as I said, this is a, a, an iconic watch from a, a very well respected brand. Um, if you're just for in for specs and watches, there's plenty of other um, watches and micro bands you you could get but um if uh having a a watch with an important heritage on, on your wrist is important uh like for me um i'd say uh, go for it and the pre-owned market especially you can still find this uh watch and i only think prices for the 007 um, are going up i know for example on reddit everybody thinks uh, you know the 007 is overvalued and I agree that some places I would never pay more than $400 for this but uh, pre-owned if you're into pre-owned uh, that uh, that would be an option so uh, the box I got in chronograph this is the box it came in came with uh, papers too the manual was signed by chronograph.com pretty sure the in theory it won't have factory warranty but um, i'm fine with with that no issue so far here it's going for 20 seconds a day so far which is within specs of the 7s26 um maybe it'll settle down a bit but um yeah that's the only thing it's a little bit fast but it's uh, it's within specs uh the bracelet is very very comfortable too there's great loom on this watch uh, but especially, it's so beautiful in, on the wrist. Uh, I'd never seen an SKX before in person before purchasing this, only photos online. And when I saw this, wow, I was like, now I get why it's so, it, it's just so, so pretty, in, in my opinion. Um, well, what are some of the cons of this watch? Well, it does have the 7S26 movement, which is non-hacking, non-hand winding. It has hard lex crystal, uh, so it doesn't have sapphire. And um, for some people, the bracelet is a is a con because it's uh, it's not solid. Uh, yeah, the bracelet. And well, 
and now we see the price it's, it's a little bit steep right uh, right now but uh, yeah I just wanted to share my, my experience with uh, this diver I, um, I I think I'll never ever sell this this watch I don't I don't think I'm pretty sure I'm absolutely 100% sure that uh, I'll never sell, uh, sell this watch so uh, thank you for uh, for uh, watching another SKX007 uh, video there are uh, already a ton of, uh, of these videos so uh, thank you